So my name is Julie Martinez. I coordinate the tobacco prevention program at the Taos Municipal Schools and I brought with me my Driven Youth Coalition which is an anti-tobacco coalition and we've been working on the secondhand smoke issues in the past few months. Some of my youth went to the legislative training in Santa Fe and spoke with their legislators, um, Carlos Cisneros and Bobby Gonzalez. And there's a bill, a House Bill 283 D. Johnson Clean Indoor Air Act that's going to, um, if passes, it has passed the House unanimously, but if it passes the Senate and it's signed, um, it will make all restaurants bars, public places, and workplaces smoke-free. And so we just want to get the word out uh, to the community and to Taos residents that this bill exists. And if they choose to, they can call their um, representative and their senator and let them know that they um, support the bill. And we also have some yellow flyers over there, little yellow cards that they can sign if they're in support, and we'll send them to the statewide uh, Tobacco Coalition that will send them on to the senator. So you have been working on this for some time. Mm -hmm. For about for for about four or five months, we've been working on trying to get this bill to uh, bill 283. Like she said, the driven group, mo um, some of the members, we went to go explain what our point of views are and give our opinions to the Senate. And we're just hoping that it passes through because it passed through the Senate. Um, we're hoping the governor governor signs it because it passed through the Senate. Senate unanimously with no debate and there's a couple bills that could like are going through the Senate right now but 283 is the one on anti-smoking <laughs> so um one of the other reasons we have our pa our faces painted blue and we have a sign that says I'm not sure what the sign is if they showed it to you yet or not but it says um Surgeon General's report recently um, Recently concluded there is no safe level of exposure to secondhand smoke. How long can you hold your breath? So our faces are painted blue because if you, the only way to protect yourself from secondhand smoke is to hold your breath if you are around it. And so that's what our blue faces signify. And it's a really good way of getting people's attention and that getting them curious to what we're doing. So this isn't the only activity our Driven Youth Coalition has done. We've done a lot of work over the past few years. We started, um, this is our third year as a coalition, and we've worked on Kick Butts Day, which is a national day to um, stop smoking, especially youth around youth awareness. We had an event last year. Uh, we do presentations to the community, to other schools, classes. Um, where else have we done presentations? We did presentation to Dow's Day School. So it's something that not we just started. We've been working on for years very slowly. There's another organization called Clean Air Works in Taos County, which is the adult coalition, which we kind of collaborated with to do this event today. And um, Jane Corinne is the, I guess you'd say the head of that committee, and she couldn't be here today. But we worked really, t really well together, and part of what Clean Air Works has done is they've worked on creating policies within Taos County with businesses to go voluntarily smoke-free. And uh, we're really proud that, like, the Alley Cantina went smoke-free voluntarily, Ogilvy's went smoke-free voluntarily, the Sagebrush, Towson mostly. They're not 100% smoke-free, but they're on their way. And we're just really proud that we've been able to make that ch that social change and the environmental change in such a way in Taos that when this um, statewide policy, if it does pass, happens that we're already pretty well covered, although the remaining places that aren't covered will um, go smoke-free as well. Okay, and this this is Mark Kaplan. He's the marketing director of Taos Mountain Casino and his dog, Laura Bell, which her face is plain. Okay, and this is Laura Bell, Mark's dog. And she came to join us because dogs are also affected by secondhand smoke. And Mark Kaplan came today because he is the marketing director of Taos Mountain Casino. And Taos Mountain Casino is one of only two casinos in the United States that are smoke free. And so he wanted to support us. And he has been a great support in the past. He's helped us raise money for our adult coalition, Clean Our Works in Taos County, and raise money for our youth coalition driven 
And so he's been a great support. We also helped him um, put the Taos Mountain Casino policy in writing, the smoke-free policy in writing. And so we've been able to work together for quite some time. Here in the United States, we were the first. We started out as Taos Slot Room in 1994 as 100% smoke-free and continued it through two expansions from Taos Slot Room to Taos Mountain Casino and through the expansions we've had already at Taos Mountain Casino. The other smoke-free casino is even smaller than ours. It's in Northern California in Hoopa, Cali uh, Hoopa California, the Hoopa tribe out there. And we uh, have so much to be thankful for, for the Tribal Council for allowing the expansion from the slot room to the casino to be smoke-free. The employees like it, especially the smoking employees. They don't like other people smoke on them any more than we non-smokers. And we have people from all over the world come to Taos and a lot of them are used to going to smoke-free places throughout the world. They love it at Taos Mountain Casino. And if they don't, we just very kindly tell them all you have to do is go out the two front doors of the casino that you entered and you'll be at the start of the world's largest smoking area. And they get a chuckle out of that. Um, I'm Bettina Sandoval. And I'm Josh Tafoya. <laughs> uh, we're painting our faces blue because, like, it's the for the House Bill 283, and we're gonna walk around, and like the blue faces like to show that, like, the <laughs> how we're like tired of holding our breath to secondhand smoke. <laughs> Where are you going to walk around? Um, we're going to walk all around town. Just. Primarily any specific area? Um, like around the plaza, mostly. And like in public places where there's a lot of people. So it gets around. To show that we're tired of holding our breath for secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke, when not like being inhaled, because it's just burning, releases more chemicals than the oxygen flowing through the cigarette. So it's more dangerous than to just smoke a regular cigarette because there's more chemicals released from the cigarette. The carcinogens are in a higher level. Yes, my mother smoked for a long time and it kind of bothered me, so that's part of the, one of the reasons why I'm trying to help get the message out on why it's anti-smoking is better. It's like some healthier, it's beneficial in so many different ways. We're just trying to spread the message and see if we can even make a change.